you should be able to make up a punishment for me if I can't use up these five products by the end of the year. Today we are doing project use up. I have five, just five, simply five makeup products in my collection that I want to use completely up by the end of the year. I have done at project pans in the past. I did a video recently talking about all of the makeup that I have hit pan in. And this is different from project pan because instead of just hitting pan in a product, which is where you can see the pan on the bottom here, I want to use these products up fully. They're done. They're in my empties. It's not like you can just see like a little scratch of something in here. Done. That is what we are doing today. So I like to start my videos with an outfit of the day. I'm gonna come back here. My dog is actually laying on the ground, so I'm gonna try. Hi, Lulu. Hi, you wanna see? You want to see everybody? Good job. You want everyone to see you? Go, girl. Go, girl. I didn't like my dance moves, apparently, but uh, this is my outfit. I was at like a marketing meeting earlier, so just trying to have like a little bit of a nicer outfit on. But my whole outfit is from Amazon, the pants. This top here is one of my favorite bodysuits and also my shoes. So I will link anything down below. I did just finish uh, filming a little bit of this makeup look. I just got the new Natasha Denona Mini Starlet Palette in. So that is what is on my eyes. And I also bought a bunch of lip products. So I did a lip haul. This one is still the last one that I finished it off with. I think the lip shade is a little bit too dark for me, but also it's fine. We're just going to keep it. I really just didn't want to take off my lips for another time and then have to put another lipstick. It's fine. So that video will be linked if you want to check out my first impressions of this Natasha Denona haul. But like I was saying, I wanted to focus on a project use up. I think it's just what I'm calling it versus just the project pan. I have been frustrated with project pans in the past because, I mean, I've been doing them for several years. I've been on YouTube since 2015 and I would get frustrated because over the years my collections would really grow and, you know, there was a couple years there that I was very specifically honed in on trying new makeup, the new collections, the new palettes, the new lipsticks, and I wasn't really playing with a lot that was in my collection. But 2023, I've had a different mindset. I have been focusing more on a low buy. As I just told you, I bought six lip products. I have been focusing more on a low buy and trying to keep my collection to a more minimal collection, doing declutters throughout the year. I just did my mid-year makeup declutter and trying to have more of a mindset of instead of just bringing things in to keep trying to move things out. So my mid-year declutter, I knew I was about to bring in several new lip products, so I had several lip products that I was also moving out of my collection. It's definitely not on like a one-on-one -on -one scale at the moment, but that's kind of what we are working towards this year. And so I wanted to choose a few products to really focus on, and I didn't want to overwhelm myself. I didn't want to have three lipsticks in here and an eyeshadow palette and all of that. And like I said, I really want to focus on actually using all of these products up, not just like how much progress did I make. So these products that I'm going to share with you are pretty loved. And you might think, Samantha, you're about to be done with that product. I have an ability. Does anyone else have this talent? I have this ability to be able to make things last. And I talked about in either my project pan or my declutter video that I have this weird mindset with makeup, with food, it doesn't matter, that like if I have a little bit left, I need to not use it anymore because I need to wait until like the absolute right moment where I need that product. Like I was comparing it to like ice cream. Like if I have like one scoop of ice cream left, it will sit and it will sit and it will sit in my freezer because I want to wait until the absolute right time. And then a lot of times I just end up throwing it out because then I just wait it too long. So I, I have this thing where I like wait for that absolute perfect moment. Is that part of being a perfectionist? Okay. That sounds like something for therapy. So let's get into the five products. One, I have already been trying. I've been, it's one of my favorite products. I recommend it a ton. I've been talking in several videos of like, I'm scraping at this product, but guess what? There's still product in there. I'm still able to use it, but I want to fully use up my LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I'm gonna do it. I have been using it so much. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna do some close-ups in this video too, but like, I really am. I am scraping at the sides of it, but then somehow, oh, still a good amount of product on the wand. 
I have been using this every single day this week. Granted, I don't feel like I use a ton of concealer. Um, I do, you know, my under eyes and I actually, I use concealer in lieu of foundation, if you will, but I just do some on my under eyes and I don't like, I don't feel like I do a ton of concealer on my under eyes. And then I will spot conceal anywhere on my face and that's about it. I thought, I definitely thought about putting a foundation in here and I was looking over them, but I can't remember the last time I wore a liquid foundation. It's been, um, it's, I mean, it's been several weeks, if not like a month. So I was like, at this point in time, I don't know if that's the most realistic because I'm not trying to set myself up to fail in this video. I'm trying to give myself products that I do feel like are achievable to actually use up by the end of the year, which is crazy. It's halfway gone. But I really think that I can do it with the LYS because I go for my concealer so much and this one is beautiful. Like I said, I can do it for my face. I can do it for my under eyes. But for as long as I've been saying, I am scraping out the sides. I'm still getting product out. So this one is front and center. We're gonna do it. This next one, you might laugh. Because I laughed a little. I was like, you can't include that. I was like, people are gonna make fun of you. They're gonna say, girl, it's, it's already gone. Like, what are you doing? But it's not. It's not gone. And I swear, it, the product just keeps magically reappearing. I don't understand what's happening. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Airbrush Powder. We don't have a lot left in this product, just like this outer part here. Yet, so I, I use this every single day. Granted, I just use this on my under eyes. I use a different powder all over my face, which is the Lawless Powder. I am not including the Lawless Powder in here, mostly because I really just wanted to keep it to like one product per the category that I was doing. So I didn't want to do two products, but also, the Lawless I know that I'm going to completely use up because it is the only powder that I use on my face right now. It is the only one and I use it every single day. I do my concealer and then I do my powder. With the Charlotte Tilbury, honestly, sometimes I use a Lawless powder. Sometimes I prefer to use um, a loose powder like the Nikia Joy, something along those lines. Kind of just depends on like what I'm doing if I'm going out for a long period of time, sometimes I like to use a loose powder instead. But for the most part, like I am always going into the Lawless. I don't really feel like I need help or motivation to get through that powder. It's going to happen. It's my favorite powder. But the Charlotte, and again, for like the Lawless, I use on a much more landscape on my face. You know, we got a lot more going on. The powder is just like dee, 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 dee. But I swear every time I open this, I'm like, did I use this powder? Like, I, I just, I feel like looking at it, this reminds me of Project Pan Samantha of 2016 of me saying, I think I just need to use this three more times and I'll hit pan or I'll be done with it. Yet I don't think so. And then it would take me like 27 times and then I would finally hit pan. I'd be like, huh, what do you know? But this one, I don't know why. It's like the never ending powder. I swear to you, if if this like, I feel like a part of it is going to break off, like maybe a little part right here might break off and then the whole powder might be boned. But like, I swear if that happens like tomorrow, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind if it happens tomorrow. I wanted to include, this is like my own person, this is like my own personal mission, y'all. A ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, okay. Okay, in my mid-year declutter, I decluttered a super shock shadow and I said that I gave myself a challenge of if I can pan one more super shock in my collection, then I didn't have to get rid of any of them. But if I could not, I already have two that I have hit pan in, including the one I'm going to show you. I have two that I've hit pan in, but I wanted to do a third one and I did not do that. So I made myself declutter a shadow again, not that I was bringing anything in, but it's like, I have a lot of super shocks. Like I can get rid of one. So when I was thinking about this video, I kept going back to my Super Shock collection. And I was like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You don't need an eyeshadow in here. Don't put that pressure on yourself. And then I kept going back and I was like, I'm just, this is this is me against the Super Shock, okay? Me against the Super Shock. I know sometimes people might think it's, it's strange that I'm so intent on wanting to use up my makeup. 
Um, but again, I have a large collection. I still do buy a lot of makeup. I do get a lot of makeup in PR because this is my career. So there definitely used to be a time where I didn't want to go through my makeup because I didn't want to, want to have to purchase a whole new foundation or a whole new lipstick or things like that. But my particular mindset right now, especially again, thinking like minimalism, I want to go through my products. I want to get that satisfaction of using something all the way up because it's something I don't experience as much anymore with having this be my full-time career for eight years. <laughs> Reviewing makeup for, has it been eight years? Nine years? I think it's eight years. Math is hard. But ColourPop, this is the Koosh eyeshadow. Koosh eyeshadow. So, okay. I, this is going to be a little bit difficult to show because it is, like I said, I panned it and then it kind of breaks. So I usually just kind of press it all back in. But I feel like, I feel like we can do it. This is going to be, I think this is going to be my hardest one, honestly. But the shade is so beautiful. Like, I love a good single shadow look. Okay, I'm not afraid to just wear one eyeshadow on my eyes. So this is beautiful to just... I can do it with just my finger. I don't even need a brush and just swipe it all over my lids and it's so beautiful. I can pair this with any eyeshadow palette if I wanted to, again, or I can just wear it by itself, but it's me against Kush. Kush. That's the one I'm afraid of. All right, we have a lipstick in here and there was a couple lipsticks that I thought about including because there's a few lipsticks that I wear on a really regular basis and I feel like, okay, if I just concentrated on them, like if I just have these products always out, is anyone else like me? Like I need products in front of me. Otherwise, I feel like I forget about them. And I don't just mean makeup and because of my big collection, I mean like cups. Like I have a bunch of cute cups and when I put them in the cupboard and then I stack other cups in front of them, I forget about the cups behind them and because I never see them. And then I'm like, oh wait, where are those cute cups at? They're hidden, I can't find them. So I wanna have these out in the forefront and I wanna try to get them used and I decided to go with this lipstick because I've had it for so long. <laughs> I've had it in past Project Pans. <laughs> But this is the year, 2023 is the year I'm going to go through a lipstick and it's going to be the MAC Honey Love. Okay, MAC Honey Love, it's me and you, baby. We're going to do this. And, you know, there was a time that I would roll this up and think, that's not a lot of lipstick. And now I look at it and I'm like, wow, I'm going to have to wear this a whole lot. And I just ordered six new lip products. That's great. I love the MAC Honey Love. It's a beautiful, like very neutral brown nude. So stunning. It's more of a matte finish. Should I just keep swatching it? Cause that'll take, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. We're gonna try. I've had it for a long, long time. So I, that was the lipstick that I chose. I was also thinking about Charlotte Tilbury and the Very Victoria, but it's gonna be MAC. And you know what? Look at me having big plans for myself. I'm like, if I finish Mac Honey Love before the end of the year, we can just put Charlotte Tilbury in it. Okay, let's get it together, Smith. Like, you're getting a little ahead of yourself here. Oh, wait, do I have six products? Oh, I might have six. <gasps> okay, I just got really stressed. Okay, I have six products. <sighs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, a, a, a Charlotte Tilbury product that I did choose. Don't laugh. <laughs> this is the iconic nude lip liner <laughs> this is the thing that i do of when i start to have less and less of a product and i just stop wearing it because i i need it for that exact right occasion but we are going to do it i am determined to get to like where i can't even like for a lip liner you know what i'm saying we're gonna get there but iconic nude Iconic Nude will look great with MAC Honey Love. I've worn this combo before. I love to do lip combo videos. I'll do one with this lip combo because it's beautiful. But I love the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. Her lip cheat lip liners are amazing. I also have some other shades that I love and enjoy and reach for. But we need to finish off Iconic Nude. It would be iconic. It would be iconic if I could finish off Iconic Nude. And speaking of pencils that look really small, yet I somehow can't seem to go through them and use them all the way up. Glossier, the Glossier number one pencil in black. Um, the shade is called Ink. 
<sighs> Again, I get to a point and I stop using them and I literally I brought out my other two Glossier pencils Like I've been using the brown and the green I started trying out some different black eyeliners like the one that I use today is from Essence I got one from Essence recently and one from L'Oreal recently. I think it's L'Oreal, right? Yeah, L'Oreal and I'm like, oh, I'll just start using those because they're in black and I'm like girl just finish off the Glossier like, have you ever seen an eyeliner in one of my empties videos? No. No. And I, like, I need to be able to go through an eyeliner. This is, like, a personal mission of mine. I need to know for myself that I can actually use an eyeliner all the way up before it gets, like, dried out and I've had it for a million years. But the Glossier Number 1 pencils are fabulous. I highly, highly recommend them. I am so determined to use up that one. And then just one product left. Again, I went a little bit back and forth because it is a powder product. It looks really similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. And I was like, use it up, Samantha. Use it up. <laughs> my dog. I like to think that was my dog hyping me up. Becca Cosmetics Capri Coast. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I am so close. Look at that. Huge pan. I can do it. I can do it. I've never used up a bronzer. Like, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, really? 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 Like, since starting YouTube. But, like, I usually just end up decluttering them. You know? Like, it's like, oh, I've had this bronzer for such a long time, I don't use it anymore. Declutter. 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 Which is like, that's great. But I want the satisfaction. I love bronzers. I love Capri Coast. It is kind of sad because Buck is no longer and you can't get Capri Coast. So, like, that's a bummer. But, like, I'm fine. This top drawer behind me is entirely full of bronzers. I will be fine to use up Capri Coast. I, it has a little bit more than the Charlotte Tilbury, but I also use more of a bronzer. You know, here's Charlotte, here's Capri Coast. Kind of hard to do. I use more of a bronzer than I do the powder, but I think the hardest for me is going to be the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. Then honestly, I think I think the MAC lipstick is gonna be hard because I'm such a lipstick lover. Which means I like I, I buy a lot and I like to do the different combos. I love doing lip combo videos, but like I need to keep going back to the MAC. If I'm just gonna like slap a lipstick on, it has to be the MAC. Then I think maybe Capri Coast will be hard. I think the LYS concealer might be the easiest because it's something I use every single day. And then the Glossier and the Charlotte Tilbury, I think those are going to be pretty tough too. Wow, okay, so this everything's going to be hard basically is what I just said. That's great. But I'm giving myself to the end of the year. I will do a check-in. What are we in? August, September, October. Let's do a check-in in October. This is reminding editing Samantha to put it on my calendar right now. We'll do a check-in in October and see how we're doing. And then we'll finish it off in December. If you want to do a project use up with me let me know in the comments what products you are wanting to use up and then we'll all check in with each other in october okay well thanks for watching see you in the next one bye